Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is your girl Adriana DC. Tonight's video, I'm gonna be giving you guys my top 10 backup bottle worthy fragrances in my perfume collection. These by far are my most intoxicating, addictive smelling fragrances in my perfume collection. Fragrances that I would always want to have in my perfume collection. They are worth the splurge. Um, the price tag isn't that bad. The scent profile is like the most memorable in my perfume collection. I will say to you, one or two of these fragrances would have been featured in my top most worn fragrances in my entire perfume collection. But these selections overall, whether or not I pull for them often, these fragrances are what I would consider some of the best smelling fragrances that I have in my perfume collection that is so addictive, that is so nice, it is worth having a backup bottle. And I would not want to not ever have these fragrances in my perfume collection. So if you guys are interested in seeing my top 10 backup bottle worthy fragrances in my perfume collection, then by all means, keep on watching. If you guys are new here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Make sure to hit that notification bell so that way you will be notified every single time I upload and that way you can keep up with all of my posts. And if you guys are my returning subscribers, thank you guys for your continuous support. I truly, truly, truly appreciate the love and the support. Let's just get right into it. So the first most backup bottle worthy fragrance in my perfume collection is a recent acquisition, you guys. And when I discovered this scent, it just took me by surprise because I was not expecting it to be this good. And the fragrance I'm telling you guys about is Camera by Latafa. I am pretty certain, without a doubt, this is everybody's backup bottle worthy fragrance. You cannot beat this scent. The scent profile, the packaging, the price, like I'm telling you, you guys, oh my lord. The heavens above. This is your beautiful, sexy, a little bit spicy, cinnamon, vanilla, date, praline, tonka bean, sweet, ake wood smelling fragrance. Now, apparently this is meant to be a inspired version of AM of Angel Shares by Killian. And when I smell this fragrance, I couldn't understand why it is people felt that this fragrance smells like Angel Shares because it does not, in my opinion, okay? It does not, but it has a much more sexier twist. Dare I say it smells better. When I say better, it smells a little bit more appealing because it's sweeter and I want to say... It doesn't smell crowd pleasing, so to speak, but it has the, the dates. It's the dates and the praline, the cinnamon, the spices, the vanilla. And there is somewhat of a Middle Eastern twist in the base of this perfume that makes it even more intoxicating, even more sexy, even more alluring, you guys. And for what you get, I mean, I bought this perfume on Amazon for about 26, 27 pounds. Like my backup bottle is on the way. The Aka Galloway, you definitely get the Aka Galloway in the base. Mix it with the spices. It's sweet. It's intoxicating. It's long lasting. It's be small. I wore this fragrance yesterday and I doused myself in it and it was just all over. It was all over my clothes and it left the most addictive scent ever. You guys, like I am late to the party when it comes to camera. I don't know why. I just felt it would have been redundant in my perfume collection. But if you guys are like me and you have the original Angel Shares, let me tell y'all this. Run and get this perfume because I am swear I swear to you, this is my best discovery of 2023. And when y'all see people raving about this fragrance, the hype is real. The stats is real. The claims are real. This is an absolute bang up you guys and out of all the perfumes that i have discovered out of all the fragrances that i have in my perfume collection i would say this is like the top most backup bottle worthy because of the bottle the scent profile the genius twist that this you know that latafa put on this fragrance you know to the angel shares dna this is what every last penny and absolutely more and again you guys i will be getting myself a backup bottle worthy of this fragrance because it is that good like sherry it is good good okay thank you this next selection despite the fact that we have you know camera making the rounds and blowing up on the scenes let's not play ourselves and rob the ever popular angel shares of its clout of its stats of its love and of course the recognition you guys those angel shares like people say it's the goat that's not my slang, but <laughs> it's relevant for this video, right? Okay, this is like the top notch. This is a banger. Now, 
this has a different twist altogether from camera or vice versa camera has a different twist to angel shares but the dna of this sexy spicy cognac i would say um is a very prominent woody you know vanilla and tonka bean essence in my opinion somewhat of an apple brandy essence i get a lot of the apple brandy cinnamon essence with the tonka bean and a lot of the woody essence and in the very far background is the essence that you capture in the camera in my opinion in the very far background but the opening is all about the spices the cinnamon and the apple brandy cognac essence it's intoxicating it is sexy it is like one of a kind it is boozy and let's not you know while we are you know cutting up and going crazy over camera angel shares is still that gold it is still that you know that spectacular smelling fragrance very unique you know very outstanding smelling perfume that is most definitely backup bottle worthy now this has a much more heftier price tag but even with that price tag this perfume is still backup bottle worthy in my perfume collection in my humble opinion you guys i would most definitely buy myself a backup bottle of this because it is absolutely worth it you guys so this is angel shares by Killian. the next most backup bottle worthy fragrance in my perfume collection is none other than ysl leave on tongues now either you grab yourself i want to say um i'm gonna wrote i'm gonna um kind of combine the ysl leave on tongues and the ysl leave the Le Parfum in one bracket because some people do feel different about the original YSL leave. They do feel it's like drastically different. Me, I just love all of them either way you put it. But this intoxicating bottle of sexiness with that bold and fierce commanding presence, this is a stunner and it's a fragrance that I would forever want to be in my perfume collection. Either one of the flankers, all of them are keepers and indeed backup bottle worthy fragrances. This is your sweet this is your a little bit aromatic lavender vanilla tonka bean um there is some mandarin orange i would say there is like a zing of mandarin orange in all of that um sensual intoxicating ambery lavender and vanilla essence it is not that sweet but there's something a bit powdery there is something very intoxicating and such a like a womanly and bold presence to this perfume that i think is just an absolute pleasure something about this perfume even after having it, i've had this perfume in my collection now for like well when it was released i brought it when it was released and smelling this perfume is like smelling a brand new fragrance over and over and over it has such an impressive scent profile that i never go old or smell this perfume this perfume is absolutely exquisite you guys and it is most definitely a backup bottle worthy fragrance in my perfume collection. Luckily, I have this one and the Ear de Toilette. I don't have the Le Parfum because I do feel the Le Parfum smells quite similar. However, if you have the Le Parfum, otherwise I leave intense. I trust that you yourself view this scent as a keeper. It is a staple and indeed a backup bottle fragrance in my perfume collection i do like the price point and this i don't find it to be too outrageous and this fragrance is like a packed with quality and it's very much an impressive scent everything about this bottle and this perfume for me is absolutely exquisite and most definitely is a backup bottle worthy fragrance in my perfume collection so this is ysl leave the intent this next fragrance is another you know recently added recent acquisition to my collection and when i smell this perfume the heavens probably sang you guys and the perfume i'm telling you guys about is french coffee by alry hair let me tell y'all something okay you need to get your nose on this perfume you need to smell it and when y'all smell it you will go crazy mark my words this is a like the name implies a french sweet warm milky toffee caramel smelling coffee smelling perfume it smells milky it smells creamy it smells like a light warm coffee essence with melted caramel drizzled in drizzled into foaming milk with a little bit of like a spicy essence to this perfume it is powdery and the milkiness is very prominent 
it is the most warm intoxicating sexy addictive smelling perfume in my entire perfume collection yes french coffee it's about the caramel it's caramel done in the most beautiful sexified way it smells like a caramel toffee with milky vanilla and a light coffee and i don't even drink coffee you guys but when i tell you this perfume is so addictive you would not believe it and this sexiness this bottle of sexiness retails for a measly price of like what i think about it for like 27 pounds 25 pounds tops off of ebay and the packaging is quite decent the bottle is quite decent the color the heftiness you would not believe it like you would not believe it there's so much quality in this bottle right here so i don't know how they're doing it but all i know is that you guys need to get your hands on this i mean i pray to god they don't ever this you know discontinue this scent but as it stands the moment that i got this bottle and i spread it and i smell this perfume i knew that this was worth every penny and more and it is indeed a back bottle worthy fragrance french cafe by al rehab oh my lord you guys this is absolutely exquisite so this next fragrance i actually featured in my backup bottle worthy fragrances in my video that i did last year and i'm probably gonna tag that video right to the top so you guys can just kind of compare how my you know my tastes have changed to see if i've included i actually have i actually didn't watch that video to see if you know the fragrances change however i do know that this next scent i'm gonna tell you guys about was was definitely included because this is an absolute love and the perfume i'm telling you guys about is invite only amber 23 by kyle lee okay if there's any other frag any fragrance from the kyle lee range that is as addictive like finger licking good is this one right here this is your right this is a sweet spicy tobacco cherry fragrance with the essence of amber vanilla chocolate there is some hazelnut inside of here so it is sweet there's like a boozy essence to this perfume as well it is intoxicating there's a cherry note mixing with like a nutty essence to this perfume you definitely get the amber and as the perfume dries down or develop on the skin you get the essence of the hazelnut like a chocolatey sweet nutty essence to this perfume and there's some honey in here let me tell you kylie put every every ounce of sexiness that they can possibly conjure or concoct into this perfume and i am sold on this beautiful sexy bottle of everything that's nice with sugar and spice and that's pretty much how i feel whenever i think about kylie fragrances it just smells like everything nice like sugar and spice and this for me this for me is like the most like intoxicating scent from the brand granted there are a lot of perfumes from kylie that just makes your mouth run water but this one right here is the sexiest of them all and like i said to you guys i included this fragrance in my backup bottle worthy fragrances last year and i'm including it in this year's video because it is worth it and the price tag isn't that bad like i'm telling you you guys this is an absolute 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 love for me so this is invite only amber 23 next up we have the ever so popular and infinitely raved about fragrance love don't be shy by killian and I'm telling you guys, I don't care how many Ariana's you guys get or you guys have. I don't care how many marshmallow perfumes you ever discover. None of them will top Love Don't Be Shy by Killian. Sugary, sweet, marshmallowy, honey, orange blossom, vanilla, powdery, sweet, dripping in honey, smelling perfume. It is still a popular selection for every good reason this is a beautiful marshmallowy orange blossom perfume love don't be shy is a spectacular smelling perfume the hype is real the rave is real the quality is real the scent profile is unforgettable and undoubtedly top quality and one of the most scrumptious smelling fragrances in the perfume community for years now and you need this in your collection and when you do if you use it a lot just get yourself a backup bottle because it is most definitely worth getting yourself a backup bottle because it is that good now this next fragrance is debatable might be debatable by some but for me 
this is the best fragrance from this brand or this range and the fragrance i'm talking about is toba color by christian dior now, this fragrance was a hard pill to swallow because obviously it's a tobacco scent and tobacco on a whole is a very harsh note it's a note that a lot of people just like you know don't really agree with but i don't care why your best tobacco scent is this is the best of the best this is a warm sticky sweet premium smelling honey tobacco essence there is some plum in here there is some amber some honey some smoke and of course there's, a, there's some tobacco and tobacco leaf there's two there's like three different types of tobacco in here so and you get it these are overpoweringly sweet sticky syrupy sweet tobacco smelling fragrance and when i tell you this is a bottle of sexiness again tobacco is a very challenging note okay but if you can appreciate the note of tobacco this for me is like the most intoxicating and i know there's tobacco vanille but tobacco vanille is good tobacco vanille is really good it's a close second behind this one but this is for me the most expensive smelling tobacco fragrance the most exquisite high quality strong potent long lasting beast mode tobacco fragrance i have ever smelled it smells rich it smells decadent it smells expensive it smells like everything and more thank god maison christian dior gives us this fragrance it's such a big bottle but if you got that small bottle you're sitting down beating yourself thinking why didn't i get myself the bigger bottle if you have not gotten the bigger bottle as yet the next most backup bottle worthy fragrance in my perfume collection is mfk's oud satin mood now let me just tell you guys okay when i first discovered mfk it was through background rouge which i'm sure everybody discovered mfk through background rouge okay and i was extremely overwhelmed by that fragrance and i told myself like the hype and the rave behind mfk isn't all that however when i went to selvages and i smelled oud satin mood because i was so disappointed by the expectations that i have a background rouge i smelled this perfume and i acknowledged that it was a really good fragrance it had a scent profile that smelled kind of raging it had like a live wire essence i got like a powdery rose and oud essence okay and the fragrance again it smelled like it had a live wire it was roaring it was really sweet and i loved the scent but because i was so like you know discouraged or should i say i was unimpressed with the background rouge with the expectations that i had i blew off this perfume but let me tell you guys something every time i smelled this perfume i realized that there was so much to respect from this scent now regardless of how i feel about background rouge one thing is for sure you will respect this perfume and i'm talking to myself here <laughs> i have learned to respect the craftsmanship behind of oud satin wood it is one of the most spectacular, bombastic, long-lasting, well-performing, exquisite, expensive smelling rose and oud combination that I've ever smelled. So much so that I went and I got myself a big bottle. Now, MFK is expensive, but it is worth getting this perfume. Even if you get a small one in a backup bottle or you get a, a big one and a small one or whatever, Every penny that you smell, that you spend on oud satin mood is worth it, you guys. Okay, this next fragrance is also a fairly new addition to my perfume collection. And when I smelt it, I just knew I have to have it. It was like, it drove me crazy. And the perfume we're talking about is Billie Eilish 2. Now, I know the Billie Eilish, the original one, was very controversial until people just, you know, learn to accept that it's a good smelling perfume. I didn't get the controversy behind that scent, but they finally accept that it's a beautiful scent. Either way you put it, Billie Eilish released a second fragrance, and this is the Billie Eilish 2, and people hardly talk about this perfume, but let me tell you all this, okay? This is a beautiful, sexy fight, spicy, a little bit citrusy, woody, sweet, vanilla smelling perfume, you guys. The palisanto in here, so it smells warm. There's some ebony wood in here, so this is all about the woods. This is all about those woody notes but it's the woody notes done in the most beautiful way it smells mostly spicy and warm and i gotta say to you guys ever since kylie introduced us to that palisanto note and love fest bonnie cherry palisanto itself is like the most sexy note in a perfume even like i mean there's some bergamot there's mandarin in here so and there's some spicy notes in here so but it's all about the wood 
and those spicy touches simply complement this fragrance this is a long lasting beast mode spending perfume it's beast mode but not obnoxious not like you know oud satin mood it projects and it's really strong but it's not like overwhelming at all this perfume is such a good buy it's such a good quality for the size the price the performance and the scent profile it actually smells a little bit unique in my opinion i haven't come across fragrances that smell this way because the, the woody touches in here so it's done so beautifully and so pleasant and you enjoy it in such a way normally woody fragrances is either you really like woody scents or you don't and you really can't get with it unless you like woody fragrances but this perfume is really appealing even if you're not into woody scents because that palisanto just gives off a really warm and sexy and cuddly feel to this perfume and and most of all, it's the projection and the longevity of this beautiful scent, you guys. It is worth getting your hands on this perfume. What I love about this scent is not too expensive as well. You can probably get 100 ml for about 50 pounds, 51 pounds, the above, especially if it's on sale. I got myself the 30 ml. And let me tell you something this perfume, I could get myself a backup bottle of this perfume right now and I'll feel comfortable. There's not many fragrances in my collection. I'm like, yeah, I already have it. And should I get a next one? But this one made me feel like, you know what, Adrian? You need a bigger bottle. This is a banger. And to be honest, you guys know I'm not into celebrity scents. I cannot wait to see what else Billie Eilish has to offer. Because for me, this is a solid creation from, you know, a, a celebrity, in my opinion. So this is Billie Eilish too. A beautiful, scrumptious scent, especially for the fall and winter months. Next up, we have, of course, the original Billie Eilish, you guys. And let me tell y'all, right? I was late. I mean, y'all probably gonna get tired of me saying this, but I was late to the bandwagon when it comes to the Billie Eilish scent. I saw the bottle and I just dismissed it. I was like, oh, hell no, I'm not getting that shit in my collection, especially if it's from a designer. Hello? Hello? Fast forward to like a year later, and this sweet spicy this sweet sugary sweet spicy vanilla cacao sweet berries tonka bean and woodsy smelling perfume is absolutely intoxicating you guys it is so intoxicating now obviously again the price point it was so easy for me to dive into i just grabbed myself a 30 mil this is the only 30 mil this and of course billy eilish this and of course billy eilish number two are the only 30 mil fragrances that i have in my collection because the bottles are so big and so bulky i felt to myself you know i don't need nothing else but let me tell you this these fragrances so beautiful so intoxicating so warm and sweet and cuddly and addictive you guys this perfume if i love it one more time like billy eilish if i love this perfume one more time i would definitely get myself i'm telling you i would definitely get myself a backup bottle of these two fragrances this one and of course a billy eilish too it is worth it the price point isn't that crazy and for what you get the scent profile i'm telling you guys we are past that era where celebrity fragrances just smell like meh it smells like crap or whatever billy eilish has taken us by storm and I'm late to the bandwagon, but I'm glad that I finally got to dip my toes into Billie Eilish fragrances. There is a red one, a pink one, or whatever that has, you know, is meant to have in cherries that's about to be released. I don't care what story keep, I'm getting it. And I'm probably going to get myself a backup bottle of these ones just, you know, until then. What I love about these scents is that they're long lasting and they're really strong. So I would probably just go and get myself like a 50 mil of each, the 50 mil of this one, a 50 mil of the other one. And I would feel happy with that. And I would never, ever complain or need anything else at all but billy eilish took me by surprise and i am definitely 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 impressed with these offerings from the brand so this is billy eilish eilish now this next fragrance is a scent that i actually mentioned in my most worn fragrances of all time in my perfume collection and this one for sure is most definitely back about worthy and the fragrance i'm telling you guys about is mark jacobs perfect in Tense. again i hate to sing this tune over and over but i was late to the bandwagon i was late to the bandwagon in exploring this perfume and all i know is i am happy to have finally discovered it and to play with this scent this is a sweet fruity comforting intoxicating almondy sweet smelling perfume with the essence of sandalwood there's something about this perfume it's like i know people say it's unique it just smells different all i know it smells so different for me that i just can't help but pull for this perfume this is like one of my most worn fragrances this is one of the fragrances in my perfume collection with the most like deepest dense 
and i am in love you guys i am absolutely in love with this perfume and i mean the bottle is also really beautiful the and price tag is not too crazy as well you guys i need this perfume in a backup bottle and it's only a matter of time because again this is a very very easy reach so this is a fragrance that you will not just have sitting in your collection just catching dust you will pull for this perfume because it's an easy reach it's pretty it's a beautiful scent something about it is just so addictive that i just can't get enough of this perfume i love my magic it's perfect intense and i will be getting myself a backup bottle of this beautiful scent so this is mark jacobs perfect intense so this next fragrance is an oldie but a goodie a perfume that we all once raved about like crazy and the scent that i'm talking about is angel muse by moogla now i still have this baby in my collection i don't know about about you guys but i still have this scent and every single time i spray this perfume i'm remembered about the initial love of this beautiful scent this is your beautiful intoxicating sweet hazelnut cocoa powdery sweet scent and with the essence of patchouli you get the hazelnut cocoa it's a bit powdery a bit sweet heavy on the patchouli it definitely smells a little bit medicinal but let me tell you even now when you smell this perfume it is still a beautiful comforting and warm smelling fragrance now i actually had a backup bottle of this perfume and i actually sold it and the reason for that is this scent is so 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 strong that it's taking me a while to run through this scent i do have a decent dent you know you gotta turn your bottles upside down because if i leave it like this you tell yourself like she nah she ain't wearing this she ain't wearing this perfume she lying and she fooling us you gotta turn it upside down you gotta turn it upside down to motivate even yourself because in my head it looks as if this perfume has barely been touched but this is an absolute banger of a fragrance i had a backup bottle of this scent and i actually sold it because i felt like i was taking a while to get through this scent and i didn't want to keep it here for too long and this is still an absolute intoxicating love of mine ever so often i walk across my you know my my um perfume storage and i spray this perfume and i'm still in love and again this is what i love this is what i look for when i buy my perfumes i don't want to you know you know years down the road or i've had this for a couple of years now i don't want to smell this perfume and be like eh, i don't feel like smelling it i don't feel like wearing it. i don't want to ever feel that way about my fragrances and this perfume i don't ever feel sick and tired of smelling it you guys so angel muse is still an absolute love she will always be a backup bottle worthy fragrance in my perfume collection because she is a masterpiece of a fragrance you guys if you have her i trust that you guys probably won't sell her but you know the way things are going in the perfume community right now everything here is just for time you guys but my angel muse she stays all right so there you have it you guys these are my most backup bottle worthy fragrances in my perfume collection these are the most intoxicating scents like these are the scent profiles in my perfume collection that are the most dreamy the most impressive the most memorable the most sexified in my opinion that's worth buying a backup bottle because i don't want to ever not have these fragrances in my perfume collection because they are an absolute love they are the most impressive scent profiles in my opinion so i do hope you guys enjoyed this video if in fact you did and some of these scents actually resonated with you then by all means give me a very big thumbs up if you guys are new here please don't forget to hit that subscribe button make sure to hit that notification bell so that way you will be notified every single time i upload and for those of you who are my returning subscribers Thank you guys for your continuous support. Now until next time, see you guys in my very next video. Bye.